Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Tricky Brickies, your daily brickwork show where we tackle all different elements of the brickwork game. So if you haven't already, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe. Today we have a small garden wall job to tackle, so let's not mess around and get straight down to the job, shall we? Let's go. Right, so here we are at the job. This is what we've got. We've got the footing in there. Lovely footing he's put in for me. Lovely. And we've got a nine inch wall coming through here. Six courses of bricks. So I'll be coming up six. And then a brick on edge. And behind this retaining bit here, we've got some heavy concrete blocks going. Lovely. Fancy putting that right there. Um, <laughs> anyway, right, the first part of the job is get the mixer set up. So, if you've seen these before, these are a bell mixer, it's a normal bell mixer. You stick the pin through, you've got the little clip on there. Now, if there's one of you just doing this, it's very difficult to get this onto there because you have to sort of lift it on, but there is a way of doing it that's easy. Watch this. Just like that. Now there is a one thing I want to tell people as well. If you ever do this with a petrol one, you can't do that because if you do it with a petrol one, you end up all the oil, when you tip it over like that, all the oil ends up going through the engine the wrong way. So you can only do that with an electric one. So do not ever tip up like I just did there, a petrol one. I only ever do it on the electric ones. If you've got a petrol one, I'm afraid it's normally a two-man job. So then, after we've uh, got all the mixers set up, the next thing is to put the mix on, of course. So, uh, as we've probably seen before, we use this stuff called Feb. It's a plasticizer and it makes it the easier to use the cement and the, the compo when it's actually knocked up, it makes it a lot more usable. So what I do is I put 20ml of this in there and a little vial at the top to a full bucket of water. Another thing, when doing your mixer, you always put in a little bit of water at the beginning because you don't want to flood, flood the mix too much. If the sand's wet, you end up with a really sloppy mix. So always put just a little bit of water in, first of all. You can always add more, but you can't take it back out again. Oh, there we go, we've got some water in there. I've just put literally just a little bit in there. It fluffs up, it's very similar to what people use when, using, uh, when washing up, like fairy liquid. But fairy liquid, apparently, isn't what's uh, supposed to be used anymore. Don't ask me for why. There is a reason for it, but I don't know off the top of my head. So anyway, what I normally do now is I put five shovels of sand into the mixer, then I put half a bag of dust, then another five shovels of sand. That should be plenty for this mixer, and that will be the, the consistent gauge we use throughout the job. The important thing with the cement mixer as well is there's no rush with it. Don't try and get the mix in and expect it to be turned over in a matter of seconds. It does take a couple of minutes to form a decent mix and actually mix right the way through properly. So at this stage, the lovely ladies brought me a cup of tea. So I'll sit back, drink my cup of tea, keep an eye on it, add a little bit more water as it needs. But I think, Within a couple of minutes, we should have a very nice gauge mark. So there we go. After my cup of tea, the mix is coming. There's a little bit stuck to the back. What I normally do here is just give the milk mixer just a little tip forward, and then that brings the muck, the sand off of the back of the mixer, and it'll mix right through. But that's turning around in there, lovely. Nice creamy mix, lovely, that'll get us started. 
I normally leave the mixer then over just like that for a little while, give it a bit of a shake and get as much of it out as I possibly can. Something else I like to do once I've done my mix, just pour some water around the edge of the mixer to get that nice and wet and keep that all wet in there because the last thing you want is the muck going off in the mixer because then it makes it harder to clean in the air and it keeps it clean, keeps it all good really just, and it's ready to go for the next mix. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build my brickwork corner here. Now because of the height, some of this will be seen so this is all going to be brick here but as I return this way, I'm going to go three courses up and then I'm going to put a concrete block through the back of there then three more courses of bricks because that will be seen. I could go two blocks but the blocks will go higher than the grass and that's not what we want. We only want brickwork to be shown here at this point. We don't want any blocks shown through there so we've got enough height to put one concrete block through then it'll have to be three courses of bricks on the top of that then six courses of bricks up the front and then one across the top. Lovely. Then I'll go down the other end and I'll do similar at the other end. I'll take the measurement to find out and make sure it's all brick bond right the way through. So first of all, I'll get this corner built, then I'll show you how I measure out through here and build the other end. So what I've done quickly here, before I even started any further, I've pulled a line through to see if it lines through okay. I want to get the wall as far in this way as I can, but I still want plenty of concrete there. I don't want to be right on the edge of the concrete. But so what we've done, I've pulled the line right away through. I can see where that is. And as you see, it comes through. And we've got a nice bit of concrete. Although we've only got about two inches at this little part here, the rest of it seems pretty good. So I believe that'll be damn good on there. Then we've got a nine inch wall coming off of there to, to, to this edge. So we've still got ample that side as well. Through here, we've got loads of concrete. But I believe he hasn't dug back too far because we've got a BT cable or some sort of data cable running there. So that's why he hasn't dug in too far this way because he wouldn't have wanted to disturb that. So we've got our building line now through here and it looks pretty good. So there's my first two bricks laid there, nice and level. That's all good. Now what we look for is 75 mil from the footing to the top of the first brick is exactly what we have there. Obviously if you're, you've been in the brickwork game you know this, but if you haven't, brickwork gauge is 75 mil. That's 10 millimeters of muck and 65 mil of brick. This brick is 65 mil, just slightly under. So we might just go, we might end up with about an 11 mil bed but you can't odds what the bricks are. You normally stick to the 75 mil gauge, 75, 150, 225, 300, and as we go up, we go up. We'll end up at 450 mil. So now I've got my first two there. I'm gonna build this corner now. I'll use my little level when I'm doing little corners, because you don't really need a big one. It gets in the way. So a small level is all we need there. Now to come up six bricks this way, I've got to come out three this way, but to give me a bit of strength at the top, I'm going to come out four. Now, as before, what I've done to make sure it's going to run through true to the front, is I've pulled the line now through here towards the front. So now I've got that line set up, I can follow that line down with my first four. Once I've got that set up, I can take the line down, and as long as I keep it upright and plumb from that point, we won't go wrong.
guys, there we go. There's me external part of the corner built. Now what I'll do is I'll build the same on the inside as well and get it up to full height. Now some of you are probably asking why I haven't put ties in. Well, it's six courses high and normally if you're building a wall, ties go in every 450. So in this case, I've got the 450 there now, six courses, and that will be the tie. As it ties across, that will tie it across with the top brick at, at the end. So there's no need for ties in this one. So let's get this internal part now built. Same again, I'll do an internal corner now like this and then that's this corner complete. Then I can work down that end, but I have to tape through. Yeah, I'll measure out, find out what the, what the gauge is for bricks right away end and make sure it works perfectly to either a full brick or a half bat at the end. And there we go, there's the internal all built up. Lovely. Also check to make sure, just for peace of mind, because I'm going over the top with this brick, always check the link for these bricks so it all works nicely here to here. So when I come across the top, you don't want to lip either side. So I always check it at the top once I've built it to make sure we're absolutely right before I point it and then we know we're all going to be good when we go to put the head of course across the top. Right, now that's that section done. Now it's time to work out from one end to the other what this is. Lovely. So I've come along there and it's worked out to the end of this brick, which is nice. It's worked right up nicely to this. We've literally just got a 10mm gap, which is which is okay. And it's gauge, this is 540. And another two bricks of 5850. I've bond through there, so that's the end. We full brick there. And then I'll build my rack now. Now this part here, we haven't got quite enough. We're very, very tight to get a block in there. So I'm gonna to have to do full six courses, both sides through this part. But as we get to the soil, then I can change that back into blocks there. So that's a touch. So all the way through that higher part, we have put a course of blocks through there. That'll save me a lot of time laying a block because a block is six bricks. I can lay a block pretty much as quick as I can lay a brick. So that will save me some time. So there we go, there's our second rack done. So that's all good. At this point, that's my first gauge of muck gone. So I managed to get two corners out of the first, the first uh, 10 shovels and half a bag of cement. So that's that gone. So at this point now, what I like to do is put another gauge in the mixer. Now get that spinning. And whilst it's spinning and turning round to save time, I'll go around and point everything. I know that's all set all ready and all lovely, all finished. The two ends will be absolutely finished other than the brick on the top, which I'm gonna put on a little bit later. So we've got the gauge turning around now. now I'm gonna pull some lines. I'm gonna pull the back side of the wall first of all. I'm gonna run my blocks from this end to here. Well, to this point here. And then I'm gonna fill in with the bricks afterwards. So I'll run that in now. And then I can get on the face pull that face in and we're laughing it's all go on the tricky bricky show so there we go there's our course of heavy blocks through the back there which is all good you can see now where the dip was in that footing so i'm just going to smear some muck over there let that go off a bit but now over this end we can see it all worked out perfectly full brick to full brick we're free to go to work into that Lovely, so I'm going to build all this bit up out of bricks here because if I put another block here, it's going to be seen because the line is, as you can see, it's higher, but we can't odds that. So we'll just make this little bit up out of bricks, but there we go, lovely old job. 
the muck I use to lay the concrete blocks, I made just a slightly bit stiffer. So a heavy block and they sink if not. So I made it a little bit stiffer. So the last little bit I'll just chuck back in the mixer again. So I only pulled out half of it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it so it's a lot more pliable and easier to use for the bricks. So there we go. I'll put a bit of muck on there to get that back to go so on there. So let's bump that up nicely. I'll let that go off. I've got another gauge turning in the mixer now. I've got one in the barra. Stack my bricks up. I've got bricks all over the place. So I can fly along now. Fly along now and get on with the uh, the running in. The easy bit, the cream as we say. Nice straight lines. I'll be lifting the line up each course as I go until I get to the top. Get the back half of the wall done first. Then I'll attack the front. Hee <laughs> hee. There's the back of the wall. We'll go up now. Lovely. So that's the back part of the wall all in. So now I've set my line up again along the front. I'm gonna rack up, make a nice little rack up this end here. That works out. I've got to open this up by 20 mil over the whole, over the whole thing, but it's 22 bricks in it, so it's less than a millimeter per perp. So it's not gonna be noticeable on the eye and that'll keep it nice right up to the end of the wall there. And they'll all line through nicely. So now, yeah, I'm going to make myself a nice little rack like I did over at the far corner up here, and then we'll be back onto the running in again. There we go, there's the front pier up. I've got my first course down there now. It's just going to go along now. Six along there, six along there, and then we'll be ready for brick on edge. Hey -hey.
So what I'm doing now is I'm preparing for the brick on edge. I'll get my little boat level out for this. I'll set one on there. What I like to do is get three on here, three or four, just to give it a bit of strength. And then once they're on, I can then hook my line around these. So I'm gonna set out, I'm gonna put three or, three or four along here, and then maybe a couple this way as well, and then that's a nice corner, and I'll be able to hook my line around it, both sides, so I'm gonna end up having a line running along here and along here once they're all leveled and then I should be able to put each one in individually and it should go really smoothly. That's the plan anyway. Good. Check up here. See where we are. There we go. We are all good, like that. That's us all good there. So now I've got this end set up as well. I've set three up here. Now what I try and do is I know that it's full bricks from one end to the other. So three bricks are the same length this way. So I'm gonna keep an eye, every three I lay will marry up to one brick through here and that'll work perfectly to the other end. Now the one along the front is a half bat out. So with that, that's only purely because of the length of the wall, there was no, no odds in it. So what I'll do on there is I'll tighten up as quick as I can and get it back to full brick, probably over the space of about, well, maybe 10, 15 bricks. I'll get it nicely back to where it should be and then we'll get right the way back to how they should be free to every brick along the, that way. So first of all now, I'm gonna go along this flank and put all these soldiers on. Headers, headers.
Okay, this is how I set my line up for the double. I've got a corner block on this end, right at the end, a corner block at the other end. I come along, why don't I just stick a expansion tie in the brickwork there, flick round it, sit a brick on there, and then corner blocks on there. I've also put this block on top here just to give it a bit more weight so I can pull the line nice and tight. Lovely. So just this last little section now to do. So headers all the way along, joint up, and then we're done. I just need your love. Good stuff. Now we've got to do is a little point up, get it all clean, and then wash the mixer out and we are done. Happy days. When I join these, I always pull down from the top downwards. Then I run my bed along like so. And then the top, I work from the end to the middle, back the other way, and back across. And there, along, and then back across. There, there, back across. There, there, back across. There, there, back across. All the way down, that way. When you brush it, you've got a nice, End. Lovely. So there we go, that is job complete. As far as I am anyway, the guys are going to come around and uh, spread the stone and stuff all the way across the driveway, but that's not my job, that's for the other boys. So that marks the end of another Tricky Bricky job. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please, please do not forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification button as well, so you're informed whenever I upload a video. But until the next one, take care, and I'll see you soon. Peace out, and pow. <laughs>